love here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you my review of the Porsche Party dress. And this pattern is by Rebecca Page Patterns. And um, this version is a free ver They have two versions of this dress. One is the free version for knits only. And there's also a knit and wo woven version, a paid version for I believe $10. Um, with different length options and the version I chose was the free version and it's a really straightforward pattern there are only four pattern pieces you have your front you have the back and then you have the skirt front and the skirt back and so what I did was I lengthened my skirt pieces about 12 inches or no 13 inches and to make it maxi length for the so maxi for mother's day challenge so if you haven't heard i'm running the so maxi for mother's day challenge along with tea of crumpets tea and sewing and this is a fun uh challenge that we have to celebrate mothers throughout the world and it's going through may 11th so you still have a little time to get in your um your makes for the so maxi for mother's day challenge and i'll leave a link in the description box to my video where i share more details about the rules and the prizes um, for the So Maxi for Mother's Day challenge. And so I wanted to get one more dress in for the challenge. And so I decided to do this dress and lengthen it to maxi length. Okay. So, again, this is a very straightforward pattern with only four pattern pieces. And the fabric that I used was this pretty green... Um, Christopher is playing over to the side. Um, so it's this pretty green knit that I picked up from Metro Textiles in New York City during um, my bus trip uh, last September. And then I also picked up, I used for the bottom, was this, um, this beautiful knit from Mood, from Mood Fabrics. And I believe they still had this. And I picked this. I saw this on the side and I was totally drawn to all the bright orange, the really bright orange and the greens in the print. And I'm so glad that they match up together. So anyway, that's I decided to pair these together. I was looking through all my fabrics and I was like, oh, these look so good together. So I decided to make it um, two different colors for the dress. So... I sewed a size small, no, yeah, size medium at the on the bodice, and then I graded to a large for the waist and hips, and um, because the finish measurement, I think it's 38 for the size small, and the hip was like a 41 for the hips, so I, um, I graded out a little bit on that. So really straightforward pattern. There are two versions of the dress. You can do uh, the back with um, just a little bit of a peephole back right here. And that's what I did. Mine is more of a keyhole. And you just sew up to this point and then you sew down the sides. And that's the version I did. You can also do it where you don't sew all the way up. You just um, leave the bodice part open all the way down to here. Um, and I'm sure you could just do whatever, you know, you could, you don't have to make it all come all the way up here, but you get, um, you could probably just do it halfway or something like that. So modify it to your own liking, but in the pattern, there's, um, just, just the open back and then this keyhole kind of back that I did. And I decided to do the keyhole back because I want to wear this on an everyday basis. I don't have to worry about specialty bras or anything like that when I wear this dress. So, um, I used, uh, in a little piece of, a little, little cord and elastic for the button in the back. And so I just sewed that down here and then, um, added a little button that I had for my stash that I picked up somewhere at the thrift store or something like that. And, um, that's what I did for the back. So I would do the back out version if I could find the right bra. <laughs> to go with it because it's even with the back down it's not super like my bra ends here so I would have to find a bra that would um come down lower because it's not too too low um anyway that's what I did for the pattern um oh the changes that I made I did also um move the bust line up just an inch because you know I'm short I'm five one and so I wanted to make sure everything hit in the right location <laughs> so those are the changes that i made um oh and the hem 
the hem I decided to do a three thread um, serge hem instead of a um, three thread narrow hem on my serger um, using green thread that I had on the for the um, to contrast and match the green up top. Um, the only issues that I had with this pattern was getting this peak to line up because they have the option of whether you want to do the ruching right here with a piece of elastic or if you just want to um, leave it flat. And um, at first I was just going to leave it flat. But while I was sewing, I had put a piece of elastic here and I got a little hole right at the top of the orange fabric. I was like, oh my God. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? So what I did is I pinched it in some more and I decided to um add some gathering right here. I just did some gathering stitches with the longest stitch length on my sewing machine 6.0 and I just pulled it like you do any other gathering stitches to get the ruching right here because I didn't want to keep um, messing with it because when I unpicked it I picked unpicked a hole in it and I also um had gotten a hole on the sides, on both sides, a little tiny, tiny hole. I think I should have changed my needle on my serger before I got started. And anyway, it, it was like a run, you know, like a run in your stocking. So it was like a tiny, 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 tiny hole right here. And I just put a little bit of interfacing on it. And then I just hand stitched the holes up. And it's, it's really, really tiny. But I didn't want this dress to go to waste after all the work I did trying to... um get that to work um but anyway it all worked out i'm gonna definitely be hand washing this dress because this fabric although it's very beautiful it's very very thin um it's a very thin knit and so i'll just have to be extra careful the next time i work with i think they would call this a tissue weight knit and so the next time i work with this kind of fabric i'm definitely going to use um i might even i use the 70 jersey needle on my machine and it's still um I think I could have used it even thinner it was fine for just the regular sewing I did do a straight stitch to to uh, sew down the neckline as well as on the sleeves and it was fine for that but I think I need to find for the serger I need to find maybe a smaller needle for the serger for very very thin thin knits and I needed a uh, a sharper, a newer uh, um, unpicker. Um, I can't think of the word of it. <laughs> to the unpicker to um, to unpick this because when I used the elastic in the middle, I had went down a little too far, and I just tried to unpick it, and that's how I got the hole. So um, next time, I'll just be extra careful um, with super super thin knits. Um, so. But the fabric is beautiful and it's really, I think it's a sturdy fabric, but it's just a very thin fabric. Um, anyway, so that is my review of the Rebecca Page Porsche party dress. I think you should definitely check it out. Um, and check out Rebecca Page Patterns in general. They're one of the sponsors for our um, so, uh, so Maxi for Mother's Day Challenge. And I'll leave a link to the, to the pattern below so you can check out this pattern as well as um all of their other patterns and they do have a couple other free things um on their website like how to do a full bust adjustment how to make changes to a lot of things that you can just download for free so definitely check out rebecca page pattern and here are I'm some home. pics and some twirls of me outside um of the house <laughs> and on the deck um with the pattern watching i hope you all are staying safe um during this trying time i recently lost one of my cousins um to the covid 19 virus and um so i've been a little bit stressed um 
you know, thinking about that. But overall, my family and I are doing well. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe during this tr trying time. We'll, we're all going to make it through. So I hope you all are doing well. Take care. Until next time, take care of yourself.